क्वेश्चन नंबर 176 स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट अंडर नॉर्मल फिजियोलॉजिकल कंडीशंस इज स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ब्लड दैट इज पंप बाय each ventricle in one beat or one cardiac cycle this stroke volume equals to 70 ml stroke volume is a difference between the end diastolic volume and the end systolic volume the end diastolic volume that is the volume of blood present in ventricles after diastole was 120 ml and at the end of systole it is about 50 ml which means that 70 ml of blood has been pumped by each ventricle so this is the correct answer option number 3 which is 5040 ml is the cardiac output that is the amount of blood which is pumped by each ventricle in 1 minute so the correct answer becomes option number 1 let us see the next question students question number 177 glomeruloc nephritis is least likely to cause glomeruloc nephritis this is the inflammation of glomerular capillaries of the nephron this inflammation causes the permeability of membrane to alter the alteration in this permeability causes the filtration of larger substances let us see protein urea can definitely occur so this is the wrong option as proteins can be filtered in case of altered permeability of membrane hematuria that is the passage of blood cells can also occur the passage of albumin that is plasma proteins option number 3 is renal calculi renal calculi is renal stones which is formed by precipitation of calcium salts in the kidney so renal calculi are least likely to occur in case of glomerulonephritis so the answer becomes option number 3 let us see the next question students Question number one seventy eight. The average amount of carbon dioxide removed by lungs in an adult human under normal physiological conditions is approximately two hundred mL per second. Option two, two hundred mL per minute. Option three, two hundred mL per hour. And option four, two hundred mL per day. Lungs act as accessory. excretory organs and they eliminate about 200 ml of carbon dioxide per minute so the correct answer becomes option number 2 let us see the next question students 179 heart is protected by a double walled membranous bag called epicardium endocardium pericardium and myocardium students the heart wall contains three layers the epicardium the middle layer which is myocardium and the inner layer which is the endocardium the wall of the heart is covered by a double walled membranous bag which is called pericardium the two membranes of pericardium enclose a space which is called pericardial space which contains pericardial fluid this pericardial fluid acts as a shock absorber so the double walled membranous bag is pericardium so the correct answer becomes option number 3 
Let us see the next question, students. Question number 180. Which of the following converts inactive fibrinogens of blood into fibrins during cascade of reactions of blood clotting? Option number 1, thrombin. Option number 2, thrombokinase. Option number 3, prothrombin. And option number 4 is thromboplastin. Here we have two reactions which occur during the cascade of blood clotting. The conversion of prothrombin occurs by an enzyme called thrombokinase. This prothrombin gets converted into thrombin. This thrombin which is formed converts the inactive fibrinogen into thread-like structures called fibrin. These fibrin threads, they form a plug which prevents the leakage of blood. So the correct answer for the conversion of inactive fibrinogens into fibrins is thrombin option number 1. So students, we have seen the quick solutions of AI ATS 2 for RM batch and I hope you did well in the exam. All the best for the next AI ATS. Thank you.